Now, anti-hijab protests in Iran continue at the funeral of 22-year-old Masa Amini, who died after being detained by Iran's morality police. Women took off their headscarves in protest against Iran's post-hijab law. This was just the beginning of unprecedented protests that the country was set to witness over the next three weeks. And now, in a show of defiance, young schoolgirls have taken up the battle amid a crackdown by security forces. A video from a school in Karachi west of Tehran showed a group of bareheaded girls chanting death to the dictator in reference to Supreme Leader Ayatollah al Khamenei. People from around the world are now extending their support to Iranian women. More than 50 high-profile French women filmed themselves cutting their hair in support of girls who have been killed in protest at the death of Mahsa Amini after her arrest by Iranian morality police. My colleague, Foreign Affairs Editor Geeta Mohan is over the phone line with us right now. Geeta, it seems that these protests are only growing and escalating in Iran, but the administ administration, of course, quite adamant about their law. Absolutely, but the outrage is not just within, it's also across the globe. We've seen celebrities, a uh, whole lot of celebrities in France, including Juliette Benoit, who uh, is a well-known, uh, renowned actress, uh, cut their hair on stage uh, during, uh, uh, during various uh, events. So we are looking at uh, an outrage across the world. But it takes a lot more polony in terms of bravery and courage for women living within Iran uh, right. to come out and protest in the manner in which they have. We have seen the same kind of protest in Afghanistan now. Uh, again, in support of Masa Amini, but also, uh, uh, it, 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 this is, if it, it not now, then when, for Afghanistan and the women of Afghanistan. So a lot of women coming out, but yes, very difficult for women to really come out and protest in the manner in which they're protesting. There have been lots of lives and uh, injuries to many protesters in Iran, although Iran is trying to muzzle the voices of these uh, protesters, young men and women. Uh, and and uh, the, the, the entire movement continues. It doesn't seem like it's going to die out any time soon. Absolutely, absolutely brave and commendable how these women are coming out given the suffocating environment in Iran and still registering their protests over the death of 22-year-old Masa Amini. Geeta, thank you so much for joining us. I don't read the news. I read between the lines to tell you the true version of events, the true story of our times. To document grief, the toughest assignment for any journalist to be. From those who matter. Women politicians going to stick up for each other. Of those who should matter, I document the truth. I don't distort the truth. I don't glamorize the truth. I don't gloss over the truth. The ghosts of India's contentious medieval history have come knocking again. I hustle for the truth. On the ground, in the newsroom, in the I studio. Don't I don't try to grab eyeballs. I inform you to make you see the point. To the point with Preeti Chaudhary. At these times, only on India Today.